Good evening to all our distinguished guests. Let me introduce myself and my wife. I'm Charles, the proud father of this beautiful bride, Sharon. My wife, Maureen Caroline, and I share this memorable moment with Mike and Sharon on their wedding day today. We welcome all of you who have taken precious time off your busy schedule to be with the couple. At this juncture, I need to single out my nephew Jude and his beautiful wife Jacqueline who have flown here from Canberra with their family for this occasion. They have rendered us invaluable help and support at the wedding ceremony earlier today as my wife and I couldn't be in Perth for the wedding due to the COVID situation in Singapore and strict border controls in Australia. We wish to thank everyone who have assisted us in one way or another to make this wedding so, so special. My wife and I would like to mention our in-laws and their contribution, Peter and June Humble, Lynn and Helen, have been wonderful pillars of support to the couple from their courting days. They have made Sharon feel right at home and most importantly, have made her feel loved and accepted into the family. Now, we need to talk about Sharon. Sharon, being the youngest in our family, is the apple of our eye. She has grown from a cute and mischievous little girl into an independent and totally responsible young woman who is now ready to handle family life with the husband. Our hearts beamed with pride as we watch her today taking her vows of marriage. Sharon, you have made us proud on numerous occasions. We have seen you transform from a cherubic and delightful baby girl into a well-toned and physically fit and attractive young woman today. Sharon, we were overjoyed when you graduated from university with your accounting degree and later managed to find employment so quickly in Australia. We have seen and secretly admired your progress in your work as a chartered accountant. Sharon, most of all, your independent spirit as you lived and work alone in Australia, away from family, all us even to this day. Sharon, we love you and treasure you always in our heart. It is only fair now to talk about our son-in-law, Mike. Mike, you are a wonderful and committed partner to Sharon. As we got to know you better, we realize your kind and total altruistic nature that has all the qualities needed in a successful marriage. It is a fact that you can relate us as if we have known you for ages. My wife and I have learned to treasure your wise word of wisdom over the years we have known you. Your support to our family have truly been amazing. You have travelled miles to be with us on the occasion of our elder daughter Henrietta's wedding three years ago in 2018 in Malaysia. Mike, we take pride in welcoming you into our family and wish to convey that our love and respect for you will never end. Finally, 
some parting word of wisdom from my wife, Maureen. Mike and Sharon, it is not what we have in life, but who we have in our life that matters. You have each other, and that is all that matters. Mike and Sharon, treasure and love each other with all your heart, and God will take care of the rest. We end with a prayerful thought for the lovely couple. When our hands can't reach our family and friends, we touch them with our prayers. May God continue to bless and protect both of you and give you strength to get through the days ahead. God bless both of you today and always. Amen. Love, Charles and Maureen, your dad and mom. We love you always. Dear Mike and Sharon, we may not be able to be there to share in the joy of this truly wonderful day, this day on which both of you have decided to spend the rest of your lives together. But rest assured, we rejoice with you all the same because this is your special day and we love you guys very much. While Angie and I send our love and blessings, little baby Siddharth sends his love with much laughter and drool, just as we also wish for much joy and happiness in your new lives together. Congratulations, guys, and God bless you both. From us here, Siddharth Henrietta Arvind. <laughs>